So let's go over the Venturi masks next. First I'm going to show you how to put it together. So there's five pieces to every Venturi mask set up. Uh, of course the aerosol mask, uh, we have a piece of corrugated tubing, we have our oxygen line that will run to our flow meter. We have this piece right here which I'll show you what this is all about shortly. And then we have the most important part which is the what they call these. These are a fixed orifice device and and I don't know if you can see with the camera, but every one is a different color. And written on each one is a percentage and a liter flow. And I'll show you that in just a second. But let's just take, I know that the orange is 50% oxygen. Now the great thing about a Venturi mask is this is the only oxygen device that you can use to deliver exact FiO2s or an exact percentage of oxygen. It works off of the Venturi principle. Each one of these orifices is a different size. This is this one here says 50% and it says 15 liters. I'll show you how to set this up. First of all, the corrugated tubing piece goes on the mask like this. All right. The next piece would be right here. This is the Venturi piece. It goes on the end of that. You might have seen a patient with one of these on before. The oxygen tubing connects to this. And that's how you're usually going to see them. But there's one part that a lot of people leave out, and it's this extra piece right here. This should actually go right here and keep the holes or these air entrainment ports, keep them painting at all times. Here's the reason why. Because from our flow meter is coming 100% oxygen down the tube through this fixed orifice, and it comes through it at a specific flow at 15 liters. And the, the really cool thing about this device is when that comes to 15 liters at 100% coming through the center hole, it's going to pull in exactly the same, since this is 50% oxygen, it's going to pull in the exact amount of air to mix with the oxygen to deliver that 50% up here at the patient. And that's why you have this longer area here. So what would happen if I hooked this up and ran it at 15 liters from the wall, but then I closed off these ports by, let's say, the patient's sheet or something like that? that's going to greatly increase the amount of oxygen going up here. It's not going to be 50% anymore because you're stopping all that air from entraining in there like it's supposed to do. So this thing should always be on there. It keeps those open. The sheet lays over it. It's still going to pull in that room air and give the right amount of FiO2 here. And here's all our, our other ones. You'll see uh, in the next segment we'll show uh, what each one stands for and about the leader flow of them.